So back on the Adele front, a few weeks ago, I gave preliminary thoughts on her new music release, Easy On Me, and her album coming out this week. We now know she actually filmed a one night only special for CBS at the Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles to air tomorrow night on CBS. And it looks like she is taking the CBS focused media approach with this album release versus the last album where she did mostly NBC shows. So it is reported that special will also include segments of her interview with Oprah Winfrey, who has been making headlines, as we know, with interviews on CBS for a while now, most notably earlier this year with the Meghan Markle Prince Harry interview. So we don't have album sales figures yet because it hasn't been released yet, but we do have a few weeks worth of easy on me single data results, if you will. And Adele looks to be, if this single is any indication, on her way to another blockbuster album cycle. Now, a few notable achievements so far in this song's life has been topping the Billboard Global 200 chart for three weeks now, meaning it has been the biggest song in the world since its release, basically, according to that chart metric. Now, here in the U.S., specifically, it has now been at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 for three weeks, where it did not debut at number one, unlike her previous lead single, Hello, because of the radio airplay chart week overlaps with other metrics like downloads and streaming. But it is gaining airplay at radio, although streams and downloads of the song are down after a record-breaking first day stream on Spotify. So there has been a slight drop off indicating this song may not be as big of a hit or have the longevity that Hello had from a few years ago. But I did see a report about her album may break some records, no pun intended, uh, as far as vinyl sales, which she may sell, which she is selling, um, or releasing them the same day as the album and it being available everywhere. So it looks like this time around we will see a wider release than 2015's 25 album where she there was kind of an active fight at the time between streaming services and artists regarding royalties and that was when Taylor Swift had her where she removed her catalog from Spotify and that became a big thing. But uh, that has all been seems to be resolved and the industry since then has only moved more towards relying, relying on streaming, which I think is why the fight with Taylor Swift and, and artists was so important because I think a lot of people knew this was the way p the industry was going and they didn't want to get screwed out of their rightful share of it. Uh, and of course, amid the last two years ish of events in the world, it's just become more and more prevalent to have the non-physical consumption of things. And I also read Adele had to submit this album six months ago in order to get enough vinyls printed around the world to be able to release them as not a limited edition thing for the first week release. But it also looks like this Adele release, like I said before, will once again reinvigorate all aspects of the industry, both old and new.